thinking of buying a new car? Are you thinking of a petrol car? How about a diesel? What about a hybrid? Have you considered electric? Which fuel or technology will be cheapest for the driving that you do? I'm Robert Llewellyn and I'm going to guide you through the increasingly complex range of different car engine technologies to help you save money on fuel and car running costs. A hybrid has a powertrain that combines a petrol or diesel engine with an electric motor powered by a battery. The battery is charged by capturing energy from braking and, under certain conditions, from the engine. Petrol-electric hybrids are ideal for urban areas, as most can run on electric-only power for short distances, and when at a standstill, the engine is switched off, thereby reducing fuel consumption, CO2 emissions, and emissions that impact upon local air quality. Of course, stop-start systems are also found in more conventional cars these days. Diesel-electric hybrids are designed to offer diesel levels of economy, with the ability for electric-only running in urban areas, thereby reducing emissions from the diesel engine. Urban driving is ideal to charge the hybrid battery. Hybrids don't need to be plugged into the mains to recharge the battery. Because there's a petrol or diesel engine, hybrids have no range limitation. Hybrids can provide the performance of a larger engine with the economy of a smaller one. Hybrid technology generally means extra purchase cost but lower fuel costs than a petrol or diesel. Diesel-electric hybrid powertrains are relatively heavy, which in real life can offset some of the theoretical fuel economy savings. Hybrids offer a little advantage for motorway use. Most hybrids can't be used for towing. Hybrids are ideal for people who split their time in and out of urban areas, where the hybrid system will reduce fuel costs and emissions in the city, yet the car is perfectly able to drive outside of urban areas.